Hi, today we're going to talk about the simple interest and how to calculate it in a Casio, on a Casio uh, graphics calculator. This video is specially designed for the IB students, although any other student that uses that calculator can use this the information in this video. Okay, I've already talked about simple and compound interest and the differences. You can watch our uh, other video online about that, or uh, you can uh, see it on our uh, online courses. Uh, remember that the simple interest is um, an interest that is calculated uh, once and then is uh, added, uh, the same amount is added every uh, year or uh, every period of time. So the formula using, um, using the symbols of uh, uh, IB would be simple interest equals principal value times the interest in percentage divided by 100 times n with n being the number of years. And obviously, final value minus principal value would give you that simple interest. Okay, so the main objective is in this video is to show you a how to calculate it uh, on a Casio calculator and b to make you realize that not all uh, exercises can be done on that calculator. Uh, to be honest, only a small percentage can be done on the calculator, and I often recommend students just to use the formula. Okay, so let's look at various exercises. Oh, well, uh, just to remind you, if we have an initial value or a principal value, uh, we will calculate once this percent of, in of interest of that principal value, and then every year or every period, we will add up that same simple interest, that same uh, amount. So that's why the total amount after the n years would be uh, that interest that we've calculated times the number of years. Okay, and you have to realize that uh, there is a difference between the rate of interest, this interest in percentage, which is an annual interest, and the interest as an amount, the simple interest. Okay, uh, in euros or dollars or whatever. So. Let's look at some exercises, which is uh, easier to understand. Calculate the simple interest of a loan of $8,000 at a rate of 5% per annum over 16 months. So, uh, what data are we given in the problem? So, P, the principal value would be those $8,000. Okay. Our interest per annum is that 5%. Uh, our uh, time would be uh, 16 months, which we obviously have to either change to years or to any other unit, and I'll explain why. So let's start to do it on the calculator first. And I'm going to ask you uh, uh, for, the, for the simple interest, A, and also B, for the final value, and you'll see why. So, so we go to our calculator. Uh, all these options are under the financial uh, menu. So we click on uh, we click on menu and we go to Alpha C, which is the financial, and then uh, we have and then we get this uh, window where we can choose simple and compound interest. For this video, we want the simple, and we get these options. Okay, so we can introduce n percent uh, interest in percentage and principal value, and we can only obtain simple interest and the final value okay so let's start introducing values principal is our eight thousand dollars the i is uh, annual and it's in this case it's five as it's a percentage okay this amount is always a percentage n is it in, in years days months well remember that you have here at three thousand three hundred and sixty five which means it's in 365 days per year so we have to change this to days but some people would, uh, most people would try to change directly from months to days. But are you going to consider uh, a month of 30 days or a month of 31? So my recommendation is to always in these exercises change months to year. So we divide 16 months into six, 12 months per year. If you do check these units, this is... 
years. Okay? And now we multiply times 365 days per year. So always change first to years and then to days. And then we obtain here. So we get 16 divided by 12 multiplied by 365, which is 486.66666. Okay? We can leave that at, as 486.67. I will write this as this. Periodic. Base. Okay? But another trick I will show you in the calculator so is we can put uh, here 16 times 365 divided by uh, 12. And we get, it's the calculator that can calculate those numbers. Okay, so 486.66666 in this case, 7, 5% uh, per annum and 8,000. And we're asked for the simple interest. So we just click on SI. Minus... 533.33 so the simple interest is minus why minus because it's money i have to pay so that's only shows if the money plus the money comes towards me minus the money is money i have to pay okay and b what would be the final value well it would be very easy because we would just need to calculate 8000 plus uh, the 8000 which is the money i gave uh plus the interest that I've paid, which is 533. So the final value I would need to pay would be uh, 8,533. But we can do it in the calculator. You just get back and click on SFP. And you say that if I've asked for a loan of 8,000 euros at that simple interest, in the end, I will have to return. And that's why it's a minus 8,533.3333 dollars. Okay. So final value is eight. Okay, so you can do this type of exercises with a calculator, uh, uh, the ones that ask for a simple interest or a final value. I will just do this same exercise with a formula so you see it's very easy. So, and how it changes. So with a formula, how does it change? Okay, so the formula was, uh, as you remember, I will write that here. SI equals PV times I divided by 100 times N. Okay, N in the formula is years. So, A, SI would be 8,000 times 5 divided by 100 times, and now we would have to do the same conversion, would be 16 divided by, in this case, as we only wanted in years, 16 divided by 12. So, if you do this, Okay, you already obtain five hundred and thirty-three what dollars. Okay, option B. How do we do it without a calculator? Well, the final value is always the initial value plus the simple interest. So that would be eight thousand five hundred and thirty-three dot three. Okay, so that's very easy. So you can always do it in the calculator, and it's fairly straightforward. And I'll tell you why, and you'll see why in the next exercise. So now we are asked, in what time will $500 amount to 512 if the simple interest is calculated at, is calculated at 14% per annum? Okay, so now what information do we have? We have principal value, final value, and the interest, which is 14. What are we asked for? N. Can the calculator give us N? No. It can only give us SI and SFV. So we can't do it in the calculator. How do we do it? Well, again, SI equals P times I divided by 100 PV times uh, N in years. We have, uh, how do we calculate SI? Final value minus principal value. This is I, which is 512 minus 400, which is 112. So we get that 112 equals 400 times 14 divided by 100 times N. So if we do that, N is 112 divided by 14 times 4. 
So that's 112 divided by 14 divided by 4. So that's two years. As n in the formula is in years. Again, very straightforward, but we can't do it using the Casio calculator. Next exercise, as some amount to, amounts to 2,400 at 15% uh, simple interest per annum after, 14, after four years, find the sum. So here, we are given the final value. We're given the final value. We're given the interest. We're given the time. And we're asked for the initial value, principal value. Okay? Again, we can't do it in the calculator because it all 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 because it only provides the simple interest and the final value. Do we do this? Well, simple interest equals principal value times um, I divided by 100 times N. Okay, so, so how do we do it? Let's look at what we have. We have that the simple interest, which I don't know, is principal value, which I don't know, times 15 divided by 100 times 4. Okay? And we have that final value minus principal value equals simple interest. So, simple interest, for example, equals 2,400 minus PV. If we insert this, the second equation into the first one, we have that 2,400 minus PV equals PV times 0 0.6. So, 2,400 equals PV times 0 0.6 plus PV. So, PV equals 2,400 divided by PV times 0 0.6 plus PV. It's 1.6 PV. So, and if we do that, 2,400 divided by 1.6, it's 1,500 euros. Dollars, sorry. So the initial value was 1,500 dollars. Again, we can't do it in the calculator. At what rate per percent per annum will $400 uh, dollars yield an interest of 78 euros in a, in a year and a half? Again, what uh, information do I have? $400 as the principal value. We have the simple interest, which is $78. We have the N, which is 1.5 in years. And we're asked for the interest. We can't get this in the calculator. We can only get SI and SFV. Again, we have to use the formula. So the formula is... Um, SI equals PV times I divided by 100. If you do enough exercises, you, you already know this formula. So, SI is 78. PV is 400. I is the thing I need to know. 100 and N is 1.5. So, I equals 78 divided by Four times one point five, which is at thirteen percent. I is thirteen percent. As a conclusion, in the Casio calculator, in the simple interest uh, option, we can only obtain the simple interest as an amount, the final value, by introducing n as days in a year. Um, as a number to a total number of days, I in percentage and principal value as the initial value. Any other exercise, and you will get exercises where you ask, you will be asked for other things. You need to do it with the formula. So, in my opinion, it's better just to learn out the formula and learn how to do these type of exercises without the calculator.